Hey guys, welcome to the solution of problem 15. Uh, in this problem we had what seems like a fairly simple setup. Uh, right, we have this rectangle, we've got a semicircle sort of cut out of it, um, and then we've cut this diagonal bit off. Um, and we want to know what's this little, the area of this little section here that's been, that's been cut out. Um, so there are fairly simple shapes here to deal with, uh, but it is actually quite complicated. So let's first start off with a general strategy of how we might tackle this. Um, so I think the general strategy is not too hard to come up with. So if we want this little shaded section down here, um, hopefully it's sort of easy to see that if we know the area of the triangle, um, we can just sort of subtract off this section here, this green section, right? And we can subtract off this red section here. Um, and if we do that, uh, that'll leave us with that little black section there. Okay, so far so good. Um, it wasn't too hard to come up with a, a strategy to attack this problem. Um, and if we look at the first two bits, they're actually not that hard to work out. Okay, so first we've got the area of the triangle. Um, so that's easy. So the area of the triangle is just half base times height. And we know both the base and the perpendicular height. Um, so we get this. And we find that the area of this triangle here is r squared. Okay, so the area of the triangle is r squared. Um, the area of this green section um, is a little bit more involved, but still not too tricky. Um, so to get this green section, you can kind of see, or probably the easiest way to do it, is to take the area of that entire rectangle and just remove that semicircle. Right, and that will give us the green section plus another copy of that green section, so we can just divide it by two. Okay, so that gives us this. Okay, and both of these shapes are the area is easy to work out. Okay, so the area of our rectangle is length times width, um, which is going to give us 2r squared. And the area of our semicircle, so remember the radius of this semicircle is r. Um, right, so the area of that semicircle is going to be pi r squared divided by 2, um, and then we're just dividing this whole thing by 2. Okay, so this 2 is going to cancel with that one um, to give us r squared, and it's going to make that a 4 on the denominator. Alright, so now we get to the hard part, which is working out the area of this red section. Um, and so this is where the trigonometry is going to come into it. So first of all, we've got to find the triangle we need to use. Um, and we're going to get that by looking at how we can sort of get anywhere close to this red section in the first place. And so sort of the easiest way to, to even start getting that red section involved um, is to look at this sector of the circle. Okay, so if we look at this entire sector, we can work out the area of that just by taking a fraction of the, the entire circle. Uh, and so then once we've worked that area out, obviously the thing we need to remove is this triangle in here. And so now we need some more information about this triangle. And so, so the key piece of information that we, we really need in all this is what is that angle there, right? Um, and so we can't work that angle out directly, uh, but we can work this angle out. Okay. So we can work out theta. Um, and the other thing to note is that this triangle here is an isosceles triangle, right? Because this is also a radius of our semicircle. So that has length r. This side here has length r as well. Okay, so this, this, little, set, this little triangle here is an isosceles triangle. Um, and we can use this larger right angle triangle to work out theta. Okay. Um, and so to make things a bit simpler, I'm going to work out what the hypotenuse of that triangle is. So if we use Pythagoras' theorem, um, we end up with the hypotenuse here being square root 5 times r. Okay, and so now that tells us that sine of theta Okay, and so if we use our calculator, we can work out theta. Now we can work out this angle, okay? So because this was an isosceles triangle, uh, this angle is also theta. 
um, and all three of these angles have to add up to 180 degrees. So this is 180 minus 2 theta. Um, and so 180 minus 2 theta is approximately this angle here. All right, so now we can work out the area of this sector, okay? So the area of the sector is going to be A, which is approximately A. All right, so now that we know the area of that sector, the only thing we have to do is work out the area of this triangle so we can remove it. Um, and we're going to use um, our area formula that involves sine A. So we have a nice expression for sine theta. So now the area of our triangle we can write this way. All right, so then the first thing that we can do here um, is use an identity here that if you look at 180 minus 2 theta, sine of that is the same as just sine of 2 theta. Okay, and so the final thing that we are going to use here is the identity that tells us sine of 2 theta is really 2 sine theta times cos theta. Okay, so that simplifies to this. We know that sine theta is 1 on root 5, and cos theta is going to be 2r on root 5r, okay, which is going to be 2 on root 5. Okay, and so we get that the area of the triangle is 2 fifths of r squared. Okay, so now putting all of that together, we get this expression for the area of this little section we were trying to work out. Um, and if you sort of plug all that in, so notice that all of these are just r squared terms, um, so you can add, subtract them all together, um, and this comes out to be approximately this. And so one way you can look at this result um, is to realize that, so remember r squared was actually the area of this triangle, um, and so what this is telling us is that this little section here is um, about 7.8% of the triangle, um, which I guess visually makes sense.